what's going on youtube ali dope checking in once again with a new tutorial for you this time we're gonna stay in photoshop um actually i came across this tip when i was having problems with my gifts using giphy that's usually what i use i just upload my videos to giphy add certain effects on there and then post them give it to my artists give it to my influencer friends stuff like that to help with their media and their content for their socials especially twitter Tumblr, portfolios, things like that. So today what we're gonna be creating is something similar to the one I did for Zaytoven. I was on tour for Zaytoven about a year ago. I decided to repurpose some of the content for my portfolio. So we're gonna be creating something like this. You just wanna launch Photoshop, first of all. So boom, Photoshop is open. All you're gonna do when Photoshop is open, this isn't really relevant. You're not gonna use this. So what you're really gonna do is go to file. You're gonna go up here to file. We're gonna go to import. We're gonna click video frames to layers. I know, so simple. It's been there the whole time. So first we're gonna open up that Zaytoven clip. All right, so you see the Zaytoven clip here. It's playing like it's a normal video, everything like that. So we're just gonna go to the clip. I already kind of know the part I wanna go to. He was talking and showing off his chain. So I wanna do it right here. As Soon as he's about to zoom in, boom, right there. When he grabs the chain, I'm gonna take this clip right here then you're going to use this in and out point if you're familiar with premiere or anything like that you know what in and out points are but for us photoshop users you just take this end point right here and you're going to just start it where this piece is right there uh -huh. then you're going to just close this in and you're just going to bring this in just a little bit boom then you're just going to play it so you can see what it looks like boom all right he shows off his chain you're gonna go select the range only. You're gonna limit to every two frames. Sometimes I just like doing it every three because I like the way it looks. Make sure it's just check. Make frame animation. Then you're gonna press OK. Give it a second because it is converting like video files to picture frames. So yeah. Now it's making the layers. All right, so now when you open it up, you're just gonna have this screen. You're gonna be like, well, what the heck is this, right? You're just gonna go all the way. You got all these layers. These are all picture files. So you're just gonna go all the way to the top layer. You're gonna make sure you open up that um, view or window. Make sure it's selected. Go to window, timeline. Make sure your timeline is up there. Sometimes it's there, and then you just gotta click it, whatever. So if you just click the animation as is, this is what you're gonna see. Oh, boom. It is a GIF. It is a video in Photoshop. Look at that. Boom. It's a video in Photoshop. Look at him. Sean off his chain, blah, blah, blah. Boom. Okay, so you can play with these settings. You can tween them. It, it Tweening helps with the opacity for different things. Um, you can change the, the time frames for these. Like, you can change it to... It's 0 0.2 seconds, you change it to 1 second, 2 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, other. You can put in whatever you want. Um, I might just choose other. I might just play around and just do 5 just to see what it looks like for y'all. And then all these 5 will change. So boom. And we're just going to keep that, whatever. But yeah. So now you have this. And you're like, oh, this is pretty plain. You could just export it and run it down how it's going to go. But yeah, we're going to start at this first frame. Usually when I make any adjustments or changes to a file, I definitely just click on this first frame here. Just so I don't have any problems um, moving forward. You take this, and it's going to go all the way through all these frames. So for this particular point, we're doing this for Photoshop. I mean, we're doing this for Instagram. So I wanted that, that square frame. Usually there's some sort of guidelines that you could put on here, but I'm not really so sophisticated with the guidelines and everything. So I just make a, a box that's 1600 by 1600. You've seen me do it before. So we're just gonna make a box like that. And it's a little big because the, the file is bigger than it is. So I just make sure it's sized up and it can fit in this square. After it fits in the square, you're gonna kind of even it up. Boom. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just crop all the photos. Press this crop button. Go to crop. Boom. Take that and I'll just 
match that up make sure it's like perfect as you can be take it on the right side boom all right so now it's a square box now you can just delete this box whatever all right so now we got it now it's a square everything's a square it's gonna fit perfectly in photoshop boom 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 look it's looking good already go back to that first clip and i just like to add some stylization because i just don't want to post anything but you could definitely just take this clip you can put some text on it and then export it as it is but what i'm going to do i'm just taking a step further i like playing around with new techniques so what we're going to do is just going to press levels uh all right so make it a little far make it a little darker okay i like how that looks a little bit Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's all right. Let's get a little quick fix with the levels. Boom. And then me, I'm probably going to do a gradient map. Click on gradient map. Usually I use this one right here. This one kind of looks cool. I like how it looks. I'm probably going to take this red out. No, I like that red. Right I'm probably going to take this red out. Make it purple. Yeah, you can change these colors to any colors you want, but whatever. We're just gonna keep levels the same, gradient map the same. And as you can see, when I made that change, when you turn it off, it affects it. When you turn it on, it affects all the clips. So, boom. With that, I think I'm gonna just go down, play with them a little bit. Oh, that looks pretty cool. But for this one, I'm just gonna use color. Cause I kinda like how color looks. You can just press play, see how it looks. Oh, it is looking fire already. Boom. Fire. Boom. That's cool right there. Uh, uh, all right, so say you stop it and you just want to write something right here. So say we just want to type something. We're going to type in Zay Tobin. All right. So a little bit bigger. All right. Boom. Send it up. So you see how it's like this, right? So say I... I, I always just do this, just take down the fill, fill zero, and then just give it a stroke of two with a white, with a white background. I might as well do it. Okay, whatever. Now it's day. But now if you press click, then it moves around, then it's all this other stuff. Now you're like, oh, what just happened? So now you just want to try to go back to that clip that you found, that you made those adjustments. It didn't, it didn't take on all of the clips. So what you're going to do is you're going to press this right here and it's going to lock it so it's going to unify the clips for all the layers and it's going to make sure it's for everything you're going to match it so now when you click it it's going to move and now it's still moving around but now the clarity is it's um it's still ghost now so boom now you press this unify the layer position so now it's going to stay in the same spot the whole time well now it's going to be staying in this spot because i i didn't uh, move it back but here boom after you think, then you press that, then it'll lock in that position. You could do this one too for visibility. Sometimes clips turn on and off. Just make sure you lock the, the visibility of things. Boom. Thing. Because I could do this and I could take gradient off for this one. That can go a few clips. Then, you know, take it off for this one. And then it'll be going back and forth, back and forth. Well, off, 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 off. But yeah. So now we're just going to take that and just unify the, the thing because I don't like that. But yeah, there you go. There are all your clips. Uh, just like that. You can press play. Just run it through one more time. It's going to be like, okay. All right. Just like that. And there you go. You're going to file. Export. Save for web and legacy. Boom. It's going to take a minute. All right, so what you want to do when you get here, you're going to have all these things. So usually, if you do this, you might have a PNG, and that's just going to take this clip, blah, 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 blah. But what you're going to go, you're going to go into the top, you're going to press GIF. Me, I usually have a, a, a preset already available. Press my preset. So my preset. Make sure the transparency is on because sometimes when you do the transparency off, the file size gets a little humongous for some reason. So just do transparency. Um, and then for this diffusion, you can pick them. Diffusion, 
pattern, noise. Sometimes I just add noise in there. Uh, the colors are 64, you could be 128, but it does affect the look. So look, boom, that gives you that nice gift look, right? And then you could do the colors lower. I could do 16 colors. Noise, selective, adaptive, all this stuff. So that's what I like about it. You can still play with the look of everything right now. Boom. Less colors gives you that more of a broken gift look. Noise, diffusion, same thing. Boom. Then you can play with these things, stuff like that. Just to see how it looks. Boom, just like that. Then you're gonna save it. Save it as a gift. Boom. Save. Replace. Whatever. Yours is gonna say that. But there you go. And then it's finished. And then boom, it's right there. Then you got your gift. It's right there. It's moving kind of fast. Uh. -huh. Boom, five. All right, you guys. So that's pretty much it. You seen me make it, and this is what you're gonna get. You can use it for influencers, producers, fashion, anybody, anything. You can use it for skateboarding, sports, basketball. This helps everyone. You got another one. Boom. Then you got some cool diffusion coming in on this. Like you can use this. And take clips from your music video that you're editing, take GIFs, make things like this, put them in your videos as backgrounds, things of that such. So it, it, it can get really cool. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on that, how you can use your GIFs in your actual music videos. But then that's it for me today, you guys. I'll check in with you guys in a couple of days for a new tutorial. Also, give me some suggestions of things that you want to see. Uh, things that you want to learn different artists different sports i can edit anything so make sure to like subscribe comment and check in for the next tutorial share this with your people so they can get the juice too don't share the sauce because you might drown